JSDoc link tags let you create links to other parts of your code inside JSDoc comments. They're available in both JavaScript and TypeScript, and let's take a look at how you can use them in this TypeScript file, for example. So here in this JS.comment, comment, you can see that we're using at link here. So the syntax for creating a link is that you create the curly braces, and then you say at link, and then the symbol name that you want to go to. And I can actually hold down control or command and just go to the symbol directly if I wanted to, to make sure it is going to be resolved properly. You can see that I was able to just jump to web view. And now the cool thing is that once I go and I create a link like this by having at link and then a symbol name, when I go and I trigger documentation for this element, so I go and hover over web view overlay, for example, you can see how it's being rendered as a link here. So we can see that this is being uh, rendered as a blue link that I can then click on, and it'll take me to that same symbol. And this works even if you're going across files. Now there's another syntax that you can use for at link, which is to provide some alternative text that will be rendered in place of the symbol name. So down here, for example, you can see that we're using at link, and then when we're specifying a symbol name here, so webviewoverlay.claim, that is the symbol name, and then some alternative text after that. And that is what is actually going to be rendered in the rendered um, documentation. So if I go to webview overlay again here, you can see that it is rendering claimed here, but when I click on claimed, it will actually go and navigate to the claim function, which is the symbol that we had before. Again, these links are supported in hovers, so I can go in here, you can see that these links are going to be rendered. They're also supported in um, IntelliSense, so if I go in here and I say WebView Overlay and then expand the IntelliSense here, you can see that I have the link that I can also go and interact with. And again, this all works across files. And then they're also supported in signature help, so if you're completing a signature or a, a method or a function, you can also use those links in there. One final cool thing to note is that if you actually go and rename one of the elements that's being referenced, so let's go and just rename the claim function here. So I'll just navigate to it and rename it, say we're doing some refactoring. So I'll do F2 to rename this. And we'll say claim or new claim here. If I actually go back, you can see that the link has also been updated. So because we're using these links, VS Code knows that this is a reference to that symbol and it will go and update everything automatically. JSDoc links are a great way to express relationships in your code, and they can really help out with documentation. Give them a try in your JavaScript and TypeScript files.